Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time for another edition of Axe the County. And joining us this morning is County's Treasurer Tim Novak. Tim, thanks for being here. Good morning today. Yes, good morning. So the Saginaw Commission on Aging is celebrating 50 years of service. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Woo, woo, so exciting. So remind us what the Commission on Aging actually does. So they provide services that really their goal is to keep aging folks healthy and in their homes. So they offer programs both in home and at the center. Mm -hmm. So you're, you know, a lot of the folks are familiar with Meals on Wheels, um, but they also have health um, uh, clinic type stuff at the mm -hmm. centers. But but even sometimes they just it's playing cards. Mm -hmm. It's you know they serve meals at the centers. <laughs> Um, they have Halloween parties. There's just all different types of activities, and we have 11 centers all across the county. So there's plenty of opportunity. Each one has a little different flair and dates when they do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's super cool. And if you think about it, it was 50 years ago, so I was, did a little research on this. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, why did these come to be back then? It was um, it's federally authorized Older Americans Act was passed back in the early 1970s. And this was, you know, post-World War II, right? So women were going back to work and families were, we had all these working families. It was like, so what do we do with our aging population, finding them things to keep them engaged and healthy? So so um, the, they came up with these programs and these nice. aging air, areas on aging, which have, you know, morphed into some of the commission aging centers that we, is millage supported and we, and we, you know, we support the communities. Um, been very helpful in supporting our Saginaw County Commission on Aging. Yeah, we're very grateful for it. So the Commission on Aging celebrating with an open house. Yeah. Gonna be fun. Super exciting. What does that include? So it's next Thursday, October 26th from okay. 1 to 5. So not this Thursday, but next week. Give you kind of a week. Um, the first 100 people come on in. They get a COA 50th anniversary t-shirt. Okay. Um, there'll be hot chili bowls, facility mm -hmm. tours information stations about the different services and programs and opportunities for older adults. Um, and they're always looking for volunteers too, so it's not, you know, mm. so you could give in both ways, right? So you can go to the center to enjoy the activities, or maybe you wanna give back and be a volunteer. They're always looking for volunteers. But, but next Thursday, so nine days away, they're having the big open house at the Eleanor Frank Center. That's over there by Haithco Park in the Fashion Square Mall off of Schuss Road over there. So really, uh, a neat place to go and uh, and they'll have a lot of neat yeah. activities and they like to show off what they do um, it's for the foster grandparents program mm -hmm. there's Parkinson support groups I mean it's I mean you could go on and on the mm -hmm. types of services that they provide for folks in our community yeah it's gonna be a good time especially the chili hot chili yeah, bowl. absolutely how can you turn that down days like today I right? know that sounds so good right now so there are some other events that are happening uh, coming up to help older residents including a tech support event that sounds like a really something that's really important and so tell us about that this is sort of like unique so that we're doing a, um, it's a tech community learning with tech experts right mm. so this is this Wednesday October 18th at the center and the, the cool thing of this is you bring your device in whether it be your iPad your laptop or your cell phone and they'll have students there that because the students know all this stuff right, right. So you get the young people and they're gonna help folks um, learn and understand how to use your device so you don't have to try to learn on somebody else's and figure mm -hmm. how yours work so mm -hmm. it's super cool and it's this Wednesday uh, on October 18th so call the center for more information if you're interested um, that's the best way to find out any more details on that. But that's a pretty cool thing if I can bring my own device in. And yeah, my own thing, so. yeah, and have someone help you out. Super that's cool. awesome. So uh, what are some other weekly events that people should know about that's happening at the center? Yeah, so so Eleanor Frank in particular, um, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, they have lunch at 1130. Mm -hmm. um, every third Monday, they do blood pressure checks at 1030 nice. in the morning. Mondays and Fridays at 9, they play Euchre. It's open euchre, so you can just come on in and play. Um, there's other card games on Wednesdays. Line dancing with instructors on Tuesdays. Ooh. So drop-ins cost you $3. You can call ahead. Kind of cool. Um, Thursdays and Fridays, they have Wii Bowling League. You have to call ahead of time and get in. You can get into that. So just a ton of fun activities yeah. for folks to stay engaged. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, and, and this mentally stimulated, mm -hmm. and they get to meet new friends, and it's really—I um, know I've said this before. My uncle started going in 
to one day have one of these in Florida. Yeah. And he's just like, oh my God, I didn't even know they had these types of programs. Awesome. I mean, it's the same thing here. So it's just, you know, if you can encourage your loved ones to just go out and try it one time and mm -hmm. they'll be, my guess is they'll know people there, right? Because we live in a small town, small enough that yeah. there'll be somebody there they know. Somebody and, you know. And then or meet somebody new, right? There so, you go. Yeah, it's a, I'm kind of jealous. They're having fun I know, over there. I, know, totally. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop in. Let's drop in. <laughs> all right, Tim, we always thank you so much for all your knowledge and uh, just educating us on what's going on in thank Saginaw County. Thank you very County. much. Thank yeah, you. thank you. All right, so if you have any questions that you would like to ask the county, send them on over to us at WNEM at WNEM.com.